folks, this is the first uh, meeting of the Clear Tai Chi Regional Organizers and our video uh, conference slash blogs, uh, but video blog or, or uh, podcast, but video podcast. Obviously, if somebody's getting the sound part from this, then just straight podcast to you. And <clears throat> I'm here with uh, several of the regional organizers. We're missing a couple folks, which I will point out who they are and, and try to do some kind of justice to them so that you know who they are and that they'll be on here. This is the first of ongoing. Um, and then there are weeks like holiday weeks or, or where the like the 4th of July is coming up here soon. And so we won't be doing uh, one of these that week, but on normal average week, you will see one of these. And we'll be talking about Tai Chi topics and also about uh, because on the members only a lot of you are instructors about instructor topics regarding curriculum regarding um, application regarding um, other both positive training issues and issues in terms of everything from handling students and uh, of different kinds of uh, mentalities and and physical issues and etc um, and all of that so I'm Richard Clear um, you probably all know that already, and I'm going to go across the list and introduce the other gentlemen that are on here, and then um, uh, we'll talk about the couple people that aren't here, so that way, well, they're not here, we got to talk about them. All right, so the first person up here, on my, and I'm going right across my screen, is Greg Nolmeyer, and I want to introduce him to you and let him tell you a little bit about himself. Hi, I'm Greg. Uh, I'm up in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and um, it's not an understatement to say that when I first met Richard Clear and began studying with him, it was a revelation. Mm -hmm. And so I've been thrilled for the last several years to be really working the internal skills. And um, my school is the Spiral Chi Center and trying to transmit as much of those skills as quickly as I can um, to my students and then have people to play with. Um, so I'm really honored to be part of this group. And you're in Ann Arbor? Yes. Ann Arbor, Michigan. Okay. And the next person on the list is Harry Legg. Thank you, Sifu. Uh, so my school is New Jersey Tai Chi. I'm in the uh, Jersey suburbs of New York City. And uh, like so many, uh, when I began Tai Chi, it was really basically empty choreography. And then I met Sifu Clear and poof, mind blown <laughs> because you actually get to feel the various energies and body qualities and stuff directly from him. So it is an honor to continue learning uh, from Sifu Clear and to be able to pass what I'm learning on to my students as fast as I can and as fast as I can get the skills. So great to be a part of this group. Thank you. The, uh, hey, uh, Harry, you, you said you're in the suburbs of New Jersey, and I know you've got classes that are spread out over a, uh, a bit of an area there. Is there. Is it all kind of where you said, or is there another area or two or three that you're in because of where you've got classes spread out in your area. Sure. So I have a facility here in Verona, New Jersey, which would be about 15 miles from New York City, kind of uh, northwest. Um, I have uh, a couple of other instructors that I've been able to make part of the organization, thanks to Seafood Clear as well. Um, and one of them, Paul Shansky, is in Fairlawn. I also teach at a community center uh, in Verona and at a wellness center in Caldwell, New Jersey, called Intervault Wellness. So we are spread out a little bit, and uh, I have the flexibility of working from home for the other type of work that I do. And so there is a lot of fe flexibility schedule-wise in where I can go and teach people. I have a, a client in New York City that I see once a month, you know, for two or three hours on a Saturday afternoon. So things like that are possible as well. Harry, if you didn't know, does voiceover. So if you did one of these and said, hey, we need a really great voice for that, he's your man. And by the way, Greg does video stuff. So between us, we've got audio visual going on. If you not take our recording today as an example of that, um, I'm more responsible for that one. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, our next per, uh, gentleman on the list here is Daniel Carrot, Daniel Stringer. And his wife, Karis, is not present with him today, but... Um, I'll let him tell you about himself and her and, um, then, uh, well, I'm a, um, a Kung Fu guy. I've been doing Tai Chi for, I don't know, 12, 13 years. And the last three or four years I've been with Sifu. And as the other guys already said, he blew my mind and, um, I'm just really happy and thankful to be with him. 
uh, I will testify to what the guys are saying. We're trying to get these skills as fast as we can. And um, I think the most surprising thing to me is just all this high level stuff works so well and that we can transfer that skill so quickly to other people. All my guys are, and girls, we do have girls. My wife, as Sifu mentioned, cares. Um, she's awesome. She kicks my butt on a regular basis with this stuff. And we do have quite a few girls as students now, or ladies. Um, and we're just trying to get out there. We have our, our farm here in Paisley, Florida, but we also hold meetups in Deland, Florida, Sanford, Florida. Uh, one of my senior guys is in Melbourne, Florida. We're starting meetups out there. So we're all over Central Florida. If you want to uh, come feel the stuff, come meet us, and we'd love to share. So Matt is here and uh, runs our basically runs the local classes in Maryville, Tennessee. Uh, we're a suburb of Knoxville, and I'll let him talk to you from there. Matt? Yeah, hi. Um, thank you, Sifu. Um, yeah, I I do the local classes here now. Um, I actually came from Minnesota originally. I'd been looking for real Tai Chi, um, you know, at this level for probably about two, pretty close to 20 years um, before I found Sifu Clear, and I found his videos first, um, and had been training from the videos, and then in May – of 2015, I got to attend a workshop in Maryville. Um, and by the second day of the, of the workshop, I was already planning, like, how can I move here? This is what I've been looking for for, for, for this long. Um, and so I did. Uh, by August of 2015, I had moved to Maryville. I, you know, I'm, I'm working with the organization now. I do this full time. I, uh, I actually get to teach the beginning in the level one classes for the Tai Chi. Um, and now I'm teaching the, the Kung Fu Kids program, which has been um, good for my waistline. Um, but, uh, uh, but um, uh, you know, it's just been uh, such an honor to be able to be a part of this and, and such, uh, such a wonderful experience to finally find that, you know, the training that I had been kind of told about when I was a kid and had been looking for ever since and just never really been able to find a good source for, um, it was so great to find, uh, you know, a, a source for that who was, who not only had all of that skill and all of that knowledge, but was willing to teach it and really was able to teach it. And his students were getting it. Um, and when I saw that, it just, it was, you know, right away I had to, I had to be here and, I'm, I'm thrilled that I did, and you know, I, I always say it's the best decision I ever made, and I stick by that. So, thank you very much, Forrest. Oh, All right. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Thank you, Sifu. My name is Forrest Abnamia. I live in Columbus, Ohio. It's a um, specifically in Dublin, Ohio. Uh, I just started studying with Sifu. Um, last year and i've been with this program for over a year now uh, i went to dozens of martial artists before and it wasn't until sifu clear where i realized wow this is this is the best that's out there and and i believe that and now i'm teaching it i'm sharing it with people and it's, it's pretty incredible everyone that i show it to is like that's the stuff that's the stuff i'm like yeah it's the stuff guys come on let's, let's do this and uh, they're loving it and i'm just happy to share super happy to be on the team um, and I'm ready to see what's waiting for us the rest of this year and in the 2020s decade. So thank you, Sifu. Happy to be here. Welcome. Um, all right. So we've got um, Jim. And whose last name is Casey. What's Jim's last name? Kelly. Kelly. Huh? Kelly. Kelly. Jim Kelly. He is in Boca Raton and uh, teaching in the Boca Raton area. Um, he's been teaching down there for a number of years uh more than 10 if i'm understanding correctly and his wife also and they they run a very strong tai chi program and there's a lot of qigong in it and they're incorporating uh the internal push hands and the and the principles that that they're uh taking and he comes out for all the different workshops that he can um as well and he, he and daniel uh host me down in florida once a year by the way i'll be up in um Michigan with Greg in September and then we just got uh, we just went and spent a week with Harry at the first of June and we've been doing that every year um, like that so you should see me at one of these gentlemen's locations once a year as well on a minimum um, and then obviously they come here uh, quite a bit and do a lot of training as well um, anyways 
Uh, Jim uh, is a great guy. If you um, haven't met him, um, he, is, he is just a, a pleasure to spend time with, or a really good guy and a, and a skilled guy. Uh, and I'll, I'd like to tell you more about him, but we'll have to do that next time. He is a, a police officer that works shift work. And so um, he's doing that today. And he says there's a lot of criminals down there in Boca he has to get. So, uh, and I'm teasing. He, uh, he's uh, very good at his job and, and does what he's supposed to do and the way he's supposed to do it. And no nonsense, but at the same time, a very great sense of humor and, and like that. Uh, and then the other person that's not here today that I need to talk about is Ty. Uh, Ty, what's Ty's last name? Talbert. Talbert. Talbert thank you. The uh, and so Ty Talbert is in Colton, California, which is about uh, a little less than two hours outside of LA. On the freeway, you drive this freeway and that freeway and the other freeway, and then you end up at the destination. That's that's you know. Anyways. Um, for those of you that know California, that's kind of a joke. Um, the uh, anyways, he's running a good program there, and he does a lot for. He's a retired vet um, and spent his whole career doing uh, in the military, and he now works with people who are who have PTSD, and he does that free of charge um, in order to help other vets like himself who have had that and to overcome that. And he's using Tai Chi as a modality to help to do that. And um, great guy. And now a word from our sponsor. Is Chi real? The word Chi is the Chinese word for energy. And energy is everywhere all around us. Physics says so. The question is not, does energy exist? Because of course energy exists. The real question is, what forms of energy can human beings tap into and use? My name is Richard Clear, and internal power is what I do. After over 40 years of continuous study and research, I created a one-of-a-kind online program that my students are raving about. In it, I revealed the secrets of effortless internal power. The program has had so much success, I decided to take it to the public. In fact, the results are so powerful that I put a money-back guarantee on it. Find out more about this incredible program at Internal Power Keys. Um. Let me talk for a minute here about uh, things we've got going on. Uh, if you want to be like these guys and do this, we have a path for you to become an instructor with this at skill level with uh, the internal training at a level where, um, and a path all the way to the master level of internal Tai Chi skills. And so if that's something you're interested in, please respond to this post and or get with, uh, and you'll probably be getting with Matt Holker, who runs the at least the introduction for that part of our stuff with folks and let us know that so that we can then get with you and, and explain to you what you need to do and how you need to do it and those kinds of things in order to do that. Um, it is a curriculum that's based on skill sets and what you really need to do to get like a PhD level in this stuff. Um, with that, what we have planning coming up are the workshops here. This includes, we're going to do a workshop in 2020 that is how Tai Chi fights. Tai Chi, in, when it fights, should not look like kickboxing. That doesn't mean you couldn't kickbox using Tai Chi skills but that's kickboxing using some Tai Chi skills. Tai Chi has a very specific ways that it should look and, and what it kind of does when it's fighting. And um, there's advanced fighting methods, what we call the ghost method. Um, and for many years, I just taught that. And then people have to rack their brain and work very hard at it to get it and put in a considerable amount of time. I put in, when I first got that method, a full year before from the time I got taught what I needed to know before I could actually really have a prayer of using the method. And so I haven't pushed that far and wide for the most part because it is as sophisticated as it sounds. Um, I have figured out a way to take and teach a basic fighting method for Tai Chi. There's, there's what I call the hard method. That one's actually kind of easy to get. Um, 
and that kind of thing, but I hadn't, hadn't put it out there much. Uh, but, but I'm going to now. And then there's the soft method. The soft method is a little bit tougher. There's a lot more drills to it um, and all of that. But it is based in proper movement and sung along with really great alignment skills and really a, a very application-based understanding of not making the double-weighted error, staying spherically centered. Anyway, so all of that going into the fighting method, this will not be techniques. It will be the method of how you move and interact to another body um, that makes for how Tai Chi fights. And so if you have um, an interest in how Tai Chi fights, um, that, that will be conveyed there and with practice and, and that kind of thing, you'll get decent at it, um, fairly quickly. Um, and then from there, if you go to the ghost method, at least you have something and, and some things that you can do while you're building the more advanced Tai Chi fighting skill. Anyways, we'll be putting that out there for you. We're going to start it off with a video that we completed last night on, um, Eye, throat, eye strikes, throat strikes, and groin strikes with every Tai Chi move. Most of the moves have multiple of those strikes. Um, and by, and they're, most of that you'll be able to pick up just by watching the video. You won't even have to do most of it. And it'll be very obvious, especially if you've, if you've got any Tai Chi form currently. Um, it probably, I, I find that most people will be surprised about how many and how much and, and how uh, devastating the art actually is when you know, when you see it, when somebody's showing it to you. All right. Um, the other thing we're going to do is put together a camp that is a clear Tai Chi camp. And when I say that, I really mean more like a two day, three day kind of an event that will be a round robin of instructors for different aspects of the curriculum. Um, and then um, push uh, like a push hands thing going on the whole weekend. Um, well, while we're awake, uh, and that, that will be attended by all of the regional organizers that we've talked about and students. Um, and then you'll be able to come and basically be immersed in our program there for several days. And it won't be so much an agenda of we've got to get this or that. It's not a certification program. It's more of a get together, a gathering, if you will. Um, so that we can then, um, basically have fun with each other and enjoy the time with each other and work on skill sets and ideally boost everybody's level while really having a good fun. Uh, and the word I'm looking for here is a, uh, um, an interactive, uh, time together for lack of a better way to say this, um, experience that we can all then uh, kind of get a, a personal boost from in terms of relationship and interaction and then go back to our respective communities um, and really help promote and continue with the Tai Chi. Anyways, I wanted to put those on the radar so that you know those things are coming um, and that we will be doing these right now. We're kind of doing much more of an introductory thing today, but we will be doing it where we're talking about specific principles in Tai Chi, things that have been going on, if there's some kind of a major issue that comes up either on the health side and health studies and this kind of thing for Tai Chi or on the martial side of like if somebody uh, something happens that makes news that has to do with Tai Chi as a fighting art in some way, that kind of thing. Um, and then um, other aspects of practices, including um, teaching tips and that kind of thing. Gentlemen, is there anything any of you need or want to add to what we're doing today? And if not, we'll, uh, we'll conclude this time. I just wanted to add that um, all of us, I believe, are hosting Push Hands meetups very regularly. And so if you are anywhere nearby and you're curious about this, I mean, obviously, go see Sifu. You know, <laughs> you know, go to the workshops and all that kind of stuff. But if you're like, hey, I really want to check out what's out there, come, you know, play with us. We will laugh. We'll have a good time. Um, we'll show you some stuff, maybe show us some stuff. It's all good. Um, so there is always the opportunity to push with us wherever we are, whether it's California, New York, Florida, Michigan. We are a hands-on group of people. And if you are in a location where there's not a meetup near you, um, you know, more than, more than a hundred, 200 miles away, and, and that kind of a thing, and you want to set up a meetup, we are happy to help advise you for how to do that and to get that going on um, so that you can 
uh, hold a meet up in your area so that you can begin to interact with other people doing Tai Chi. And if you come out, we'll make sure that you've got the couple, our method, which is the internal push hands. And then the most common method or two of other kinds of push hands methods so that you can really do a good job of hosting a meetup and interact with other people and get regular practice with people in your community at home of uh, things that you're learning, ideally by uh, our, your live interaction with us, by video, um, and then other tips and tricks that you pick up, um, both from us and if you're doing meetups that you'll pick up from other people coming to the meetup. Um, you'll see that we're very good about the hands-on and hands-on with anyone who's willing to put hands-on um and as long as there's skill happening there um i'm not picky about it it's let's more is more anything harry uh no i would just second uh, what you and greg just said uh, push hands meetups are invaluable to uh getting your hands on all different sizes of people different energies different qualities and different skill sets and that is one of the the key things to really getting you know higher level tai chi skill and being able to use everything we learned from you and uh and so on in a real not that push hands is fighting, we we know that, but in a real hands-on situation versus just imagining you're doing it in your form. Uh, I'll, I'll add this for today. Uh, a lot of the push hands that people see and have expo been exposed to is the com really competitive kind of push hands. Um, and we do a little bit of that. But when I say a little bit of that, it's like 1%, 2%. The rest of it, we're doing the internal push hands, where you're doing things to test out skills, so that you get one person who's giving you a push of a very specific kind that you want, they're going to give you that same one every time and you're going to comparison and contrast and test out different kinds of things so that, that you get feedback on how that thing is working. We also use it to test health stuff, things like check my structure, um, am I being sung enough, soft enough, um, am, I, am I using, am I internally expressing pung in a way so that it's uh, meaningful, and these are not, they shouldn't look like competitive push hands. They're not competitive push hands. We teach it to um, everyone who comes to the door. Harry in particular teaches it to a lot of folks that are over the age of 65. Um, and it is not invasive in a way where you're going, oh, I don't want to get shoved like that. It's not that kind of, so don't mistake the name push hands um, for the competitive thing. That is one little small segment of what push hands is. And you don't have to do this, the competitive one to get a lot of benefit out of it. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, just yep. making sure. All, All right. right, well, I think that'll do us for today. Um, thank you for watching. Um, and any questions you've got, submit them when you see this video. We will be doing these normally with our uh, regional organizers uh, in our mastermind group that is for them um, and putting it up there about a week before you guys see it here on members only and clear tai chi members only on facebook and it basically won't be seen anywhere else so this is exclusive for them and then for you guys a week later um and so in the comments where we have posted this in the in the clear tai chi members only um anything that we're talking about and you have curious that you're curious about or that you want to know that we didn't maybe didn't address Put that in the comments and we will either try to address it there or we will come back like the next week and actually put that on our agenda and talk about it so that then you can see a uh, video answer to your question um thank you for watching and next time thanks you thank you thanks guys all right catch you later and now a word from our sponsor mind over matter can be a confusing idea for a lot of folks we just don't see it demonstrated that often. You hear about things like a mother lifting a car to save her baby that's underneath, but how can we reliably tap into that kind of power every time? Not just in extreme and unpredictable cases, but whenever we choose. With the right instruction and a few simple drills, even beginners can get mind over muscle power in almost no time at all. My name is Richard Clear and internal power is what I do. I've been researching and sharing the secrets of effortless internal power for over 40 years. I want to spread those secrets far and wide. So I created a unique online program that gets results fast. The results are so good that I offer a money back guarantee. Find out more about how it works at internalpowerkeys.com. That's internalpowerkeys.com.